Hi ladies. It is Monday the 24th. It is a kind of dreary day in Michigan and I'm gonna do my combo of the day. John's home today. Um, he's not feeling good. He's actually, because he's teaching, um, he is now off for the summer, which is weird having him home during the day. I'm not used to having him here, so it's kind of a new adjustment for me. Having him here is kind of throwing me off a little bit, but he's out in the living room and he's not feeling good. He had a sore throat this morning. Um, so anyways, I my raccoons, I was up last night. I cannot catch that stinking last raccoon. I don't know how that thing is not setting off my trap. I have no idea. Um, I <laughs> Last night I tied marshmallows to the top. I tied marshmallows to the side. Um, he was getting the stuff off the porch while we were sitting in the living room and we didn't see it obviously, but so I stayed up um, last night and kept going out there and tried every way I could to get those stinking marshmallows so that it would be challenging for the stinking raccoon to get the, the marshmallows. And I have zero idea how this thing is not triggering the trap because I push my finger on the plate and the trap snares. So either this thing is ginormous and it's getting in there so that the trap doesn't come down and it's not triggering it. Um, yesterday, the trap door, he had gotten the whole treat out and the trap door shut after he left. So I don't know if this raccoon is ginormous and he's just, I don't know if he's just batting the thing. I have no idea, but I'm on this vendetta with this last raccoon. I think we've only got one left, but this one's a sneaky one. And I am, my husband's laughing because I just won't let it go, but he's destroying my bird feeder, my shepherd's hook. I, and I can't catch the son of a gun. So anyways, we're gonna try a little bit of a different combo today. Um, I'm gonna try, a, this is a cool um, matte color. It's called Roseberry. It's really pretty on by itself. And then I'm gonna use Nutmeg, which is a warm frost color. And we'll see how it comes out. Never mix these two colors together. So we'll see. I. You know, I'm all up for mixing stuff together. So Lip Sense, if you've never used it, it's not like a traditional lipstick. It's not a stain, it's not a lipstick. It actually bonds to your lips like nail polish does to your nails or hair dye does to your, your hair. And so there's a carrier inside the tube, which is ST40 alcohol, and it bonds with the botanicals, and it bonds with the patented product that's in the tube. And it, what it does is it allows it to carry to your lips, and then as soon as it attaches to your lips, the alcohol evaporates. So the first couple of times that you use the product, you may have some burning or tingling on your lips from the SD40 alcohol. Now that does go away as soon as you put your gloss on. And then also a tip for you is that if you are properly hydrated, you won't get that tingling and burning. So especially after you've used the product for a while, if you notice that you've got a tingle or a burn when uh, you apply your lip product, then you know that you're dehydrated. So just make sure that you're properly hydrated and you should not feel that tingle or a burn. And just remember, it will go away as soon as as you apply your gloss. I know somebody's on, but the way I have myself rigged up here. Hi, Devorah. Um, I hope that's the way I pronounce it. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm hoping that that's correct, though. Um, so anyways, um, because there's the SB40 alcohol in the tube and the botanicals, you want to make sure that the product is shook up really well. If it's not shook up real well, then um, after you apply it, you may feel some grittiness on your lips, and it will... Um, it could wear less, and that grittiness is not exfoliation. It's actually that your product wasn't blended up good enough. So um, the claim of this product is that it lasts anywhere between 4 and 18 hours. Now, I'm going to tell you that when you first start using the product, you may not get that higher end of the, the product wear. There's a couple of reasons for that. Number one is... Um, 
you are a brand new user of it and your application technique might not be um, as good as it's going to be the longer that you wear the product. Um, your application technique is really important um, because you're gonna wanna apply this in three layers and it's gonna be even coats. You're gonna go in one direction. You don't wanna mush your lips together because the product is gonna be tacky until you put on your product. And um, remember, it's not like a traditional lipstick. Now, each of the colors applies a little bit differently because of the consistency of it. Some of them are a little bit thicker, some of them are a little bit thinner, some are a little bit more opaque. And so each color is going to be a little bit different application. Now, even though I say we go in one direction, sometimes you're gonna see me go back and forth real quick with a color, but that's because the, the product is wet enough for me to allow to do that, and I know which colors I can do that with. I've been doing this for two years, and it's, it's taken a lot of practice for me to be able to do that. If your wand isn't wet enough and you try and do that again, you're going to pull the color right back off. So when you're first starting to use the product, you may get on the lower end of that 4 to 18 hours. Another factor that goes into your longevity of the product is that I don't use any other product on my lips than Senegens. So I use our lip balm, I use our lip glosses, and I use our lip scents. I don't use any other products. So our products are designed to work synergistically together. So the better that you, if, if you were to use all the products together, you're gonna get the best wearability with our products. And then I also use our lip volumizer, and I've been using this every day um, since the beginning of January, 2017. Morning and night, I put on an application of it, and my lips have built up their collagen, and uh, it also helps to repair any cracking around your lips. So so that's been repaired around my lips as well, and I've got that plumpness. Hi, Heather. So um, the lip volumizer, I do highly suggest. So again, the longevity of a product, if you're using all of our products together, you're going to see that longevity of the product. And again, the more you wear the product, the better you're going to get at applying it and the longer wear that you're going to get. Um, another factor might be um, if you take certain medications or if you experience dry mouth like I do, I have Sjogren's. So sometimes my mouth will get super dry and I might get some wear along the inside of my waterline. And so kind of keep that into consideration. If you have any kind of a medical condition or if you suffer from dry mouth, you might get some wear along the inside of your mouth. So you may have to just touch that up sometime mid through the day. Sometimes you don't have to depending on the colors that you're wearing, but if you're gonna wear a darker color that's gonna be a little bit more noticeable and that bothers you, then you may wanna just carry your colors with you and just touch up inside your waterline midway through the day. But those are just suggestions. So once I get started here with the application, um, I'm going to um, be talking funny because you need, want to make sure that your lips are wide. You want to make sure that your mouth is spread so that you don't have cracking in your lips when you apply. You want the biggest surface area. Did it? Oh, I almost lost you. Somebody called. Um, so you want the, the best surface area on your lips. And you want to allow just a little extra dry time for your matte colors. Um, because they're a little bit thicker than your frost and your shimmers. And so today I've got a matte and I've got a frost. Um, now, I, was, I just lost my thought again. You'll find that I do that a lot. So if I come back to it, I will. Um, let's see, I think I've covered some of the basics. Um, if you have questions, put them in the comments and I'll come back to them. And I'm sure things will come up as I'm applying, they usually do. So you wanna make sure that your stuff is shaken up real good. And I'm gonna go ahead and start application. Um, because this product bonds to your lips, you do not need a lip liner, a separate lip liner, because it doesn't feather. Um, this product bonds, you don't need a lip liner, which is awesome, but I like a nice clean line when I do my lips. So I use the tip of my wand, which I'm gonna show you how to do that when I line my lips, because I like a nice clean lip line. You don't have to do that. It depends on what kind of a look you want. It takes a little bit of extra time if you wanna do that but I do it once, I do it in the morning, and I don't mess with it all day. So it's worth it to me to have a nice clean line. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Oh, first thing you need to do, which I didn't, my washcloth, back up. Sorry, ladies. You wanna start with clean, dry lips. I had washed them before, but you just want a little uh, washcloth, wet it down, make sure that you've got clean, dry lips. You do not want any residue of makeup or primer or anything. You want clean, dry lips. So let's let that dry for a second. No makeup, no primer. 
just clean, pretty dry lips. And we're gonna start with Roseberry. The, the newer um, colors that are coming are coming with these really nice sponge tips on them, and I love these. Our older um, um, tips used to come with a cloth tip, and they're a little, as a matter of fact, this persimmon might have, I'm sorry, this nutmeg might have a um, cloth tip. But you wanna make sure that your tips are, um, they're saturated, but they don't have clumps on them, because you want a nice, um, even layer of product, so. So one coat, and you saw that I went twice. I went on the outside, and then I did my waterline, because my lips are fuller, so it takes two strokes to cover my out and my in, thanks to the lip volumizer. Didn't used to be able to do that. Okay, second coat. See, now I got a little bit of a clump. Can you see that? I'm gonna get that off, because you don't want that thickness on there. And for my upper line, I do this way and then this way because my it's hard, too hard for me to do this. There's one. Waterline. Now I'm going to go ahead and line. Now the great thing about this product is because it bonds, I'm talking funny, because it bonds to your lips, you can also emphasize your lips. It's hot in here, sorry. Um, you can create the illusion that your lips are fuller by lining just underneath your lip line, just a teeny tiny. You don't want to go way outside your lip line if you want to create the illusion that your um your lip line is a little bit bigger. I'm gonna go right on my lip line, but for you who have thinner lips and you wanna create a little bit of illusion of, um, of uh, plumper lips, um, you can go just on the outside of your lip line and line it. And then if you wanna create a bigger Cupid's bow, see I have a nice Cupid's bow, but some, some women don't have that and they wanna create that. You can create that with this product because it bonds to your lips. So if you wanna create that Cupid's bow, you can do that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and outline real quick and I'm just gonna to touch real lightly on the outside. It is like a sauna in this bathroom. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start sweating. And all I'm doing is lightly touching outside the line. So I want a nice line. On cute as well. Now, because you layer this product in three layers, you can layer up to three colors if you want, or you can layer two colors, or you can layer just do one color. I find that using a matte color underneath my Frost in the Shimmers, I get a little extra um, wearability out of my product. So I've always been like, for the last several months, I've been using a matte color underneath a Frost or a Shimmer and getting a lot, a lot better wear out of my product. So that's why I do these combo videos is because I'm using um, my matte colors underneath my Frost and my Shimmers. And, whoo, I'm sweating. I'm gonna have to take a shower from my shower. So I'm gonna go over now with Nutmeg. And Nutmeg is a warm frost. Make sure I can see. Ready. I always wonder what the next coat's gonna look like. With two colors, you can get up to eight colors or eight shades, depending on the way that you layer it. I'm gonna line this to cover up the rosemary. Now, when I'm doing this by myself and I'm not talking, it goes really quick. Line it with a rosary. I don't know why 
it's so hot today. All right, so that's two layers. Looks pretty good. And I'm gonna do one more layer. Get all the clumps off of it. Again, you want it wet, you don't want it clumpy. And I think I don't need to touch up. Hey, just a little on that cat though. Okay, so that's two layers of nut egg and one layer of, oops, let me just take, I might be a little light right here. No, I think it looks good. Does that look good? Oh, I don't know how it's coming through on the camera. I know my face looks sheet white on the camera. I'm really not that white. And on goes the gloss. Your first layer of gloss, you want it to be pretty uh, thick. Just so that you can coat it really well. And allow it to soak in. After that first layer, then midway through the day and stuff, you can just add gloss when you need for an extra moisture. But this first layer of gloss is really important just to um, seal in your color. And then once it's on, it's good to go. And the gloss is not tacky, it's not sticky, it's really, it's, um, it's a really smooth gloss. It really actually feels good on your lips. So today, this was Roseberry and Nutmeg. And I never know what I'm gonna get with a cool and a warm, but I think this one turned out good too. Um, I, You know, the one I had in yesterday, I was, um, I didn't really care for, I didn't do a video yesterday because I didn't have time, but it turned out way too bright for me, I thought. But I wore it anyways. But I think this one turned out okay. It's, um, nutmeg is a little bit thinner. It's a thinner um, frost. So I wasn't sure how the roseberry would shine through, but I think it turned out good. So I'll go ahead and post pictures in later. If you have any questions, post them down below and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next combo. Bye.